Yo, what is up everybody? It's Nick here and welcome to episode 41 of our Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. Of course, if you guys missed the previous episode, you can find the playlist linked in the description down below. But you guys, we are back at home. We're with the wife and the son as well as our uncle. And uh, there is one thing that I actually wanted to do. Um, and I think we can do it in here. And that is possibly take off the bandana. We're going to get rid of it because we're not a bandit anymore. Uh, we're a family man now. We're back home. We're helping out the family. And uh, I don't think we need it. But either way, hopefully you guys are excited for today's episode of Red Dead Redemption. Of course, if you guys could drop a thumbs up on the video, as that would be greatly appreciated. If you want to wait until the end, that's fine by me. But we are going to go ahead and speak to Abigail here. Um, she is, is she still cooking? Oh my goodness, it's so hard to move. She's still cooking. But I guess we can go over here, um, and, and see if I can trigger something. I might have to wait or come back at a specific time. Oh, nope. Looks like we can do it now. But we're gonna go ahead and help her. Old friends, new problems. Let's see what she has for us. What's Bonnie? Something you ain't telling me? Okay. Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself <laughs> She's not killed. Us. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't it know. It weren't. I can't. Their language is kind of. You uh... can't read. Give it here. She can't even read. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Wild. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> this man. Alright, so we gotta hop in the way. Oh, it's already loaded up. Okay. Oh, why am I... I wanted to go over... There we go. Alright, so let's get out of here. Hello? Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on then. What? Let's get going. Why does it really... Okay. We have to get to the junk store before time runs out. Well, that means that it's going to take us a few tries because I'm going to try to hurry. Actually, I might just... I'm just going to not take our time, but... I think we'll be okay. Either way. Um... I don't know why she's all worried about us. And as soon as, because as soon as we came back, she hit us. What the heck? What did we do wrong? What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Mouth. No. That kind of normal. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I don't know how on earth we're gonna get there in time. Okay, let's not fall off the tree. So it's kind of, it's pretty far away. I, I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know why on earth we need. Okay, now it's right. Yeah, don't fall off the Don't fall off the now we're at It's kind of far away, and I don't know why we have to do this in a certain amount of time. But it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, this is... This is... Bill weren't so bad, but... 
I don't know, maybe we're... I want to see real quick. I mean, I guess we're kind of almost there. We're halfway there, we're halfway through the time, it looks like. I just wish that these horses would go a little faster. I guess because there's stuff in the wagon. They're going slow, but... Make it. It's like right up here. I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. We can do this. It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a okay. finger on me. We can do this. We can do this. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. Right here. It's literally right here. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone. Oh, right. I didn't think we were going to make it because it's like these horses are going so slow. All right. There we go. There we are. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable old goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. Old goat is how she refers to us. Than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weak <laughs> saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so too. I never felt so outnumbered. Alrighty. So that's done and done. That was pretty straightforward. Now we ride back. And drive home. That was pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, alright. She's pretty. She's normal. Like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife. If I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the Alright, let's get you back home. Let's get you back home. It is kind of crazy though how like Bonnie saved us. And now here she is meeting her wife. That is kind of wild. That is kind of wild. Yeah, these horses, I just feel like. Uh, I feel like they're not going fast enough. I feel like they could go much, much faster. I feel like there could be a little more teamwork. But yeah. I feel like they're really, really good. No, don't fall. Don't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. No, not again. Why do they do that? I steer. I don't understand why it does that. I don't. I slow down and I move my controller to the left. I move them to the left and they don't cooperate. I don't know why it does that. I don't. 
That's so stupid, dude. That's so stupid. That is so, so stupid. That's so dumb. Like, I purposefully slow down and move my controller to the left. And for some reason, when it comes to, like, those tight corners or... I don't know why they don't do... I don't... I don't know. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Now I have to drive all the way back home. That's ridiculous. That's just so stupid. That's just so stupid. I just feel like they're not going fast. It's, it's, I don't know. I mean, I know you, you can sit here and we can listen to the dialogue, but it's like... It'll be alright. It'll be alright, I guess. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? How many times can we start again? Are you okay? I mean, they're kind of starting again now. How many times have they already started again? Okay, let's... I'm just gonna have to go slow here. Because I really don't want to keep you doing this. Because I, I don't know why the horses are like to just... Like I said, see, I slow down. <laughs> I slow down. I slow down and move them. Alright. Let's get home. Dude, why? Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to bash right into the building? Why do you have to run right into it? These horses are out of control, you guys. These horses are out of their minds. Maybe we can't change. We gotta try. That is true. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. You ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Phil and Uncle Gus? They were his family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world done him many favors. Mm. Oh my goodness, do you have to run right into that rock? grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. There's a rock, our well, cover. Now we got a chance to make it right. Yeah, Jack seems a little, uh, a little awkward, and I can understand why, but. Alright, so that was like a trip and a half there. That was, that was a whole journey right there, but. We did good today, John. Glad it's done. Alrighty then. So that's done. Um, and let me take a gander. Um, so it looks like we can go speak to Jack. Is he up? Am I gonna have to come back? I'm assuming. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I'm assuming I have to come back. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and sleep. Let's go ahead and sleep and reset the time here. And then I want to go ahead and we'll knock out we'll knock out another mission here. We'll knock out uh, another task for someone. Let's go ahead and save that. I do kind of want to knock out um I kind of want to speak to our uncle as well. I kind of want to speak to our uncle as well and see what he has for us. Kind of do, I kind of do, I kind of do. But, uh, we probably still can't even, yeah, is he still not out here? What the heck? Alright, well, I do want to go ahead and see what, um, what's over here? Hmm.
hello? Why can't I? Okay. Let's not explore around a little bit and look around. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. Well. Um. Do I have to uh, go to sleep again? <laughs> it's the time. Usually the time like switches, but I guess it didn't do that this time. Huh. Hmm. Oh, well, now she's laying down. What the heck? I thought she was fixing up something to eat. I thought she was fixing up something to eat. Okay, now. There we go. Now it should be good. I was gonna say. Oh, is our uncle out here? He's not. Your family member's not here right now. Come back a little. What? Is that him right here? What are you doing? What's going on? Why are you not over there? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, well, is he here now? I'm gonna follow him here. What do you mean he's not here right now? He's right here. But why do you? I don't understand. I don't understand why Rockstar games are like that. <laughs> why the character sprites and like. I don't understand why they're all like that. Okay, so now. Okay. Now we can go ahead and talk to him. Now we can. John Marston and son. Alright. Now we can speak to the lad. What's he got going on for us? What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventures. No, How'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story <laughs> about that. <laughs> very funny, Pa. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. All right. Crazy. Crazy. Mount your so I guess we're going to uh some some elk. Is this not oh, that is this not my horse? Oh this isn't even my horse. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't I don't even know which one's mine. Now stay close to the dog, son. Let's go. Slow it up okay. now. The dog, oh the dog's gonna lead the way. Follow your dog, Rufus. All right. I didn't even know we had a dog named Rufus. Oh, what on earth? I didn't even know we had a dog. But he's gonna track the elk for us. So hey. You sure you're ready for this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we're gonna need the elk. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me, honey. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. Howdy there. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just follow Rufus. You don't seem too excited about this. I think this. we fought some, uh... Safe, huh? Yippee! Are you sure you're alright? I mean, I know all that business must just have been hard you. on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid. Slow either. up. Look. I think we fought some elk before. Well, I know we've seen some. But. 
There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Jack is going all over the place. He's going all over the place. One time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and Girl who was raised by wolves. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home, locked up in a dungeon. Look, Whoa. I see one. Where? Yeah, okay, so what do we I do with the shit? Alright, nice this and easy. Stay with me, son. Oh, that's all. Okay. So we just collect the dead. Okay. Easy. Easy. We've done this before. We've done this before. Oh, Lord. This is nasty. We've done this before. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Why is he off the, what? Rufus, what are, you are you good? Let's keep moving. Are you good, Rufus? Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. Let's go. So I don't know how uh, how much elk we're gonna get here, but one, Rufus. Come on. Easy. Rufus will lead the way. You ready it's to hard to shot I don't know where he's at. It's kind of hard to see him Remember, since there's like some snow on the ground. Wait for your it's kind of hard to don't see where he's gonna go. You say so. Oh, there right. he is. He finds him. Take the lead. Where you go? Keep going, boy. There he is. It's, it's hard to see him because there's like snow and he kind of blends in. He blends in with the ground sometimes. All right, there he goes. That's it. Go on, boy. Lead the way. Lead the way to the elk. He's on the run. He's on the run. Easy. There they are. Jack, come on. Where are they? Who Don't the rush. Oh, they're like all the way down here. That's it, son. Stay calm. Is he shooting at them? Yeah. This one's getting away. Yeah. What's he getting? Me? Me, Jack. Now it's your turn. Now it's his hey, turn. It. Okay. I guess we're gonna accompany him. Hmm. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Man's All right. Did I even get like Whoa. this? Come on. Let's get this over with. Hold on. Why did my horse have to walk right over me? <laughs> Why? Why? I wanted to get that meat. There's still another uh another or not horse, but an elk that we could have got, but we don't have to. We don't have the time. Only kill what you we need. don't have the time. We'll go out again soon. You know, Only kill I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? All right. Come on. I guess we're riding back now. Yeah, a lot of these. Uh, a lot of these like missions are pretty straightforward now, and I kind of like it. It's nice and relaxing. It's a nice change of pace from having to find people and kill them and do this and that. And I would just kind of run around and hang out with the family and hang out with the dog Rufus. It's nice. I kind of like it. It's a nice change of pace from everything. But where exactly? Like right here. Man, Zan. I don't think I don't think we've ever even been here before, have we? Okay, I gotta jump off. He's gonna go way too far, of course. Sell the elk meat at the store. Alright, we're gonna make some moolah. We're gonna make some moolah. 
Let's do it. Mm, big horn, um, okay, right here. Sold. I can probably sell all this too. Like, while we're here, grizzly first. I'll sell for quite a bit. Alright. Is that it? Why is it still saying? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, do I have to sell? Oh, there's still some. Wait, what? Oh, I'm buying stuff. Oh, shoot. Wait, was I? Wait, am I buying? Wait, it said sold. Buy. So, because that's what I have, right? Elk skin. That's what he's. I'm just gonna. That says it's sold out now. So am I good? I don't understand. Okay, there we go. I don't. I guess I wasn't selling like all of it. I guess I was only selling like one at a time. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why it just didn't make me sell it all at once. But where's Jack? Oh, come on, dude. Let's let's get move on. Let's get out of here. Now that that's done and done, we're going home now. How far away is home from here? What's up? Too far. It's not too incredibly far. Where did Rufus go? I don't know where Rufus went. Anyway, that was pretty uh, pretty straightforward though. Get some elk, sell it. Let's get on home now. Let's get on home now. I do kind of want to speak to our uncle though. I want to see what uh he is for us. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun! I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. All right, and there's Rufus. All right. Um, I think. Uh, what time can we go speak to the uncle now? Kind of want to wait. He's not even there. I kind of want to wait. And go speak to. Uh, I want to wait until we speak to him. So I think for the time being, it doesn't look like we can speak to Abigail. I guess. Can I sleep here? I'm just sick of saving my game though. It doesn't look like she needs us anymore. Wasn't there? Oh, I just walked on the other side. I was gonna say, wasn't our like bed like right there? I just walked on the other side of the house. I was so confused. I was, I was confused. Either way, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here, episode forty-one, I do believe. And in the next episode, uh, we'll go ahead and speak to Jack once again. Hopefully, hopefully so. Hopefully we can speak with him. Um, I'm not sure what the uncle's going to have us do. But I do want to meet up with him as well. Um, and I guess that's it for Abigail. Um, I don't know if she has anything else for us. But as of right now, she clearly doesn't. But either way, that being said, you guys... Thank you guys for checking out today's video. I do appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And with that being said, take care, you guys. Have yourselves a good day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.